Hi, Noshin. Hello. Uh, it has been observed that a lot of students face problem in sentence correction because of pronoun. That's right. Why yeah. is it so difficult? It's not difficult. Basically, there are different types of pronouns that we need to understand, and especially the subject pronoun and object pronoun, which comes under personal pronoun category. Okay, so we no wonder it's difficult. Subject, personal. Uh, right, so we'll do all those pronouns. Okay. Uh, we'll do the different types of pronouns, and we'll also see how to identify whether this is a subject pronoun or an object pronoun. Is it important to know all these technicalities uh, for, for answering the GMAT? Is it? The most important thing is that you should know whether you use a subject pronoun or you use an object pronoun and then the possessive pronoun. Wow. So these are the things. If you know, they help you definitely. Okay. So you're saying that, I mean, if, if you are mentally clear with the picture that is a subject, object and person. Yes. And then you don't spend more than two minutes doing a question. Okay. You know, just now, what you s waste your time uh, between two choices just to understand whether you use I or you use me. Yeah. So if you know whether wh when to use I and when to use me, right. you'll save the, those, those minutes there. You'll so save those seconds there. Because most of us speak grammatically incorrect English and that's we use right. I and me interchangeably without yes. knowing the difference. Yes. So that's what we'll do to today. The second thing is that uh, we uh, have a problem, we face problem in subject verb agreement also. Okay. So we'll do that and okay. third we'll do comparison in this. So you're saying pronouns, subject verb agreement and, and comparison. comparison. That's right. Should we start with pronouns? Yes. Should we go to the next slide? Sure. Okay. Okay, so we know what pronouns are. Yeah. They are the one word substitute for the uh, noun. The place of nouns, yes. yes. Okay, so let's see how many types of pronouns we have. Okay. Personal. Right. Demonstrative. Mm -hmm. Reflexive. Right. Inter interrogative. Yeah. Intensive. Intensive and, relative. and relative. Okay. So shall we do these types of pronouns one by one? So you have to go into detail for for the personal each kind yes. of pronoun. Yes. Wow. Okay. So we will go quickly into right. the personal pronoun. Yes. Okay. So what are personal pronouns? They're the pronouns often used as substitute for pro proper or common nouns. For proper or common nouns, yeah. okay. Yeah, and uh, like in personal pronouns we have three categories. Subject pronoun, uh, object pronoun, and uh, possessive pronoun. We call them cases. Subject, object, and? Possessive. Possessive. So we call it subjective case, objective case, and possessive. Let me give you the list in the next slide. And you call them cases? Yes. So it is subjective case, objective case, and possessive case. Okay. So do you do you encourage students to go through Ren and Martins of the world? You don't need for GMAT. You don't need for Whatever GMAT. Whatever we cover here should be enough. Should be uh, should be enough for, for uh, getting your clarity. Yes. On the concepts. Yes. Perfect. So we go ahead. Yes. Okay. Let's see the. This is the list. So we have personal pronoun yeah. and we have subjective case, possessive case and objective case. Yes. So sub in subjective case you see I yes. as first person, mm -hmm. you as second person and he, she, it as third person. Yes. And in uh, objective case you see me. Right. Uh, it is the object. This is where students make mistake. Me and I. I is a subjective case and uh, me is an objective case. What now is the difference between subjective yes, and objective? Subjective, subjective case is when a, per, a pronoun is performing an action. Subjective when a pronoun performs an action. Performs actions. Yes. An objective is when pronoun receives an action. An objective when receives. Yes. When a pronoun so whenever you say I am playing football, so you're doing an action, so it yes. will be I. Yes. He gave a gift to me, so he is doing an action and you're receiving it. So in that case, you're me. Yeah. So you say my friends and me are going out. So my friends and me are going out is wrong because, because my you're friends and I are going out yes, because, and the because you're performing an action. That is right, but the rule for the. Uh, standard written English is and the English is that the third person and the second person comes before the first person. Yes. So you say my friends and I are yes. going out. Yes. So that that's about the objective case. For you it is same. You is the subject pronoun and you is the object pronoun. So right. it says I told you and right. you told me. Yes. I told you you, you told, told me. me yes because I told you is in this case a, I is performing an action. Yeah, you, you told me you're receiving something. Yes. So it's not I told you, you told that. No. Yeah, naturally. Then Wonderful. the possessive case. Okay. 
possessive case is my and mine, your and yours, his, her and hers, and its. Okay. So possessive is when you talk about belonging. Yeah, yeah, when you when you possess something. Yeah, when you possess. When you so talk that's, about somebody's that's possessing. Clear from the name itself. Right. So this is my pen. Belonging. Belong or something. So yes, you're saying my pen. This is my pen. Or you say the pen is mine. Pen is mine. Absolutely. So if the object comes after the pronoun, yes. then you use my. If the object comes, comes after, after the, pronoun, the pronoun, which is the case here, here, then you use my. If the object comes before the which pronoun, which is the case here, then you use mine. Then you use mine. Yes. Okay. Similarly, your and yours. Absolutely. Your, your pen. pen and the pen, is, the pen yours. is yours. Yes. And her and hers. Her pen her and pen the pen, and the pen is, is hers. Yes. But for its, it is same. It is the sub subject pronoun, it is the object pronoun, and the possessive is its. Remember here, we don't use apostrophe with its. Yeah. With, uh, it, that is it, with apostrophe means it is. Yes. This means it is. It is. And ITS. ITS is a possessive case. Yes, this is a possessive case. A so lot of students make such mistakes also. Yes. So this is very important. Yeah. I'll just mark important here. IT apostrophe S is equal to it is. Yes. And it's, if you write, is just possessive, possessive case. which you which, which you're getting from from here. Yes. The possessive case. <coughs> then uh, these Wonderful. all these uh, pronouns are singular. Yes. Then we talk talk about plural. So yeah. we, you, and they. Are the subjective case? Yes. And us, you, them are the objective case. Are the case. objective case? Right. Yes. And ours, are your, 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 their, their, theirs. Theirs. these yes. are the possessive cases. Yes. So is it clear from here? It, it's so absolutely clear. You this, have this is very clear. It is very important that you remember the at least the subjective and the objective case for GMAT. Yeah. So that you don't make any uh, mistake in uh, I and me, and you don't make any mistake in who and whom. So, so they generally test this. Uh, the, the subjective cases. and objective case a lot. Yes. But this would be tested at a, at a lower score. Yeah. Would this be tested at Sometimes lower score? it is the part of the uh, lo longer sentence where right, you have to choose between who and whom. Okay. So who, if I mention here, who is a subject? Mm, is it mentioned somewhere else also? It is also mentioned somewhere else. So let's else. take it there. Okay. okay. Let, let's just take it there. Okay. Okay. So should we go ahead with, please, with the thing? Please. So this is personal pronoun. Yeah. Let's go to the next time. Which is the. Demonstrative, demonstrative pronouns. Okay, so demonstrative pronoun, as the name says, it calls the attention to the antecedent. It calls to the attention of to their antecedent. Antecedents, okay. right? So the noun is already present in the sentence. Okay. It only calls the attention. So this, that, these, and those. Okay. For example, this is a ball. So this you already is have. A ball. It is written there. Yeah. So yeah. you already have ball there. So this only refers to. So obviously these are the files I want you to see. Right. So you, I'm referring to those fi files. Yeah. Those are apples that I bought from the market. Yeah. So you refer to the hut that Jack's father built is on top of the hill. Yes. So that refers to the hut. These are the files I left yesterday for you. Absolutely. So these are the words that call their attention from the antecedent, which are already mentioned Clear. in the sentence. So this is very simple for now. Right. Let's move. So demonstrative is over. Yes. The third is reflexive. Reflexive pronoun. Okay. We we'll just go back. Reflexive. Reflexive pronoun. When you add self to the reflexive pronoun. Yes. For example, I say my, mm -hmm. and you add self to it, it becomes myself. Right. So myself is a reflexive pronoun. Right. Myself is a reflexive pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yourself is a reflexive pronoun. Okay. And uh, the other herself, himself, herself, himself, 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 himself they're all reflexive. They're all reflexive pronouns. Right. So now what is a reflexive pronoun? Mm -hmm. what, what is a reflexive pronoun? Right. So reflexive pronoun is when you refer or you put emphasis on the act, agent's action. Refer or put action. Re or yeah, reference on the agent's action. Or emphasize actions. Yeah. That you want to say the person uh -huh. who did the action mm -hmm. is the person who received the action. That is, the emphasis is on the action that affects the agent. Okay, I just simplify this. Emphasize on the action. Emphasize the action. Yes. Yes. Emphasize the action is back. Action when the action affects the agent. 
Okay. So there's so an action and that and affects and the it's agent. It's affecting the agent somewhere. Yes. Yeah. So if the it, person who's doing it. Yeah. If I make it very simple, so it, here in this case, the subject and the object are one. The subject and the object are one. Yes. So the somebody who uh, who is the subject of the sentence is the object of the sentence. Absolutely. So she forced herself to do it. Okay. So she is the subject. The action is force, which is being emphasized, and she is doing it herself. So in this it. sentence, who did the action? She, she did. So right. she is the subject. Yes. Whom did the action affect? Her. Her. So that means the subject and the action, uh, the object are one. Subject and the object, object are one. Right. So that is the reflexive pronoun. Yes. So in reflexive pronoun, what happens? The action affects the uh, subject. Action affects the subject. Right. Action affects the subject. Yes. I've got it. Right. So in this next sentence, we say this is not so hard as I thought. So he told I me. and he and no. In the first line, it is not so hard as I thought is one sentence. It mm -hmm. is only the subject here. But the second sentence shows us he the told reflexive pronoun. Sorry, he he himself. told himself. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. So yes. he is the subject and himself is the object. Absolutely. So he told himself. This and this. Right. And so this is where the reflexive, reflexive pronoun comes. Pronoun now, when okay. you see reflexive pronoun in GMAT, th this also can uh, create a problem of redundancy. Mm -hmm. Redundancy, as in case, if I say I dressed myself. Mm -hmm. In this case, when I say I dressed myself, mm -hmm. when I say I dressed, it automatically means that the action you affected me. Yourself, yes. So it automatically means that mm, it affected me. Yes. So myself is a redundancy. So you really do not require this yes. because I dressed and I dressed myself means, means the same. Means one the same thing. Or if I say I got up myself. Which sounds very weird too. Yes. I got up myself. So if you got up, it automatically affects. It means yes. So this is not required. These, are, these things are not required. So this makes redundancy. So these kind of questions also come in the gym? Yes, they do. I got up myself. I dressed myself. I got up myself. Or um, something like where the redundancy comes. Okay. okay. So let's see the other sentence. Okay. It is after that. Intensive. Yes. It again is with the self. Mm -hmm. That is personal pronoun plus self. It's personal pronoun. Mm -hmm. As in myself. Self. Yes. Yourself. Got it. So the reflexive and intensive are same. Yes. But the, how are they different? Yes. In reflexive pronoun, the emphasis on is on who receives the action. Right. And in intensive pronoun, the emphasis is on who did the action. Reflexive and intensive. Yeah. Let me just repeat this quickly. In reflexive, you're saying who did the action? Who, who received, who the, received action. the action? Who received the action? And in intensive, it is who did the action? Who did the action? And in reflexive pronoun, subject and verb are one. Subject and object is one. Uh, are one. Yeah. And in intensive, they're different. Reflexive. Subject. And yeah. object are okay. same, and in intensive they different. They will be different. Okay. So intensive pr pronoun only intensifies the agent. Yes. We did it by ourselves. Right. So we did it is a complete sentence. By ourselves only adds it, adds right. to it. So it's also called additive. It adds to it. Yes. The admiral himself inspected, yeah, inspected the book. So this is editor. That means if you remove it from the sentence, it doesn't make any it difference. It doesn't make any difference. It just emphasizes the point that admiral actually did. Right. But go if you, and if you remove the uh, um, reflexive pronoun from the sentence, then it there does make a difference. There, there will be no meaning that. You you say he told himself. He so told you remove it from uh, himself from the sentence. He, he told. He told what or he told whom? Absolutely. So you can also identify it by by doing the breaking the sentence this way. So okay, I, I just quickly repeat this reflexive intensive, reflexive again himself myself, yourself, uh, things like that. But it, it's on whoever receives the action. That's right. And intensive is just to add on to it. It just shows it's just who did the action. It just adds on to That's it. That's right. So Examples are admiral admiral himself inspected the boat. We can actually say the admiral inspected the boat, but just by putting out himself, it just no, adds on. It re-emphasizes. It re-emphasizes. That's right. Here. right. Okay. What notion? What we'll do here is that we'll just quickly wind off this video. Sure. And we'll uh, take, take the remaining pronouns in, in the, the next, next video. video. Right. Fine. Nice.